right, all right. So, yeah, this is the uh, next week. And uh, look at the weather. It's turned actually a little cooler. It's right now in um, 10 degrees Celsius. For the Americans, it's around 50 Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a coat. It's a lot cooler. Um, still warm enough in here in the garage. It's not too bad. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a shocker this morning. So let me give you an update of where we are. So, like, again, in the last videos, a lot of it was clean up and just organizing what we've done. Um, I've cleaned up some of the buttons because they're sticky. Um, again, I did not replace them yet because that's going to be done once I put it in its final resting. Um, I've just opened that up because I maybe want to look behind the EL panels and just see what's going on there. Maybe there's a loose wire because at night, it actually, um, they light up. Like, if you're seeing, I have... The two mini mirror keys on the on the left on slot one and two. Well, if I plug the game in, and at night it actually panel three, no, panel two, four, five, six, like do a sequence and light up very faintly, but they light up. And number two never used to work, so I'm wondering. You know, now that maybe, um, you know, I've cleaned it up or whatever, it's working better. So I might check that out, but let's get right to it. Um, here's the meat of what we're going to be doing today. I'm prepared, a lot more prepared than I used to be. So here's the Neo Geo 6 slot. Um, I'm going to be uh, setting the camera up, and we're going to be taking the the cage off and cleaning it. And then uh, I got my tools, so I have the uh, soldering iron, the solder sucker, solder itself, the screwdriver I have on the left there, rub and alcohol, a eraser from like when we're in school. Um, I have contact cleaner on the can on the left and then computer compressed air uh, on the right. So why don't I set you up? First, we're going to um, we're gonna take the cage off. We'll put it to the side and clean it later and I'll montage that really quick. Hope you guys are liking them. <laughs> and then we'll take the, uh, the stack apart, get to the battery, unsolder it. And uh, it's going to be my first time doing this, so it should be very interesting. Not nervous, but I'm going to be very careful. And again, if it's taking longer, I'll montage that as well. But either way, let me set you up, and let's get to uh, removing that battery, which I hope has not leaked. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, let's set this up. Uh, let's start to take the cage off for the first time. So hopefully everything goes well on this. Right. Yeah, but the cage is, I mean, you can tell it's the oxidization on it. Uh, so, so far so good on this. I mean, I'm looking inside. It looks pretty decently clean, I have to admit. But uh, that really means nothing until it's properly tested and finished. So while I'm doing these videos, I know they're a little drawn out, but again, I just want to record them because the six slot is not really recorded that map much. Um, I'm very proud to have it. I uh, can't wait to really get playing it. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any ever feedback or any comments, uh, let me know. I'm learning, like I said. That's two. All right. <clears throat> and the third. So again, Neo Geo six slot board. It works. I've plugged it in. Do all the slots work? Well, we're going to find out. I know slot one works good. I did try it. I haven't put it in the other one, so I guess that's going to be the big test. So hopefully. All right. So all the screws are out. Let me neatly put them here. Alright, so let's take the cage off. Alright. So I'm going to go put this aside. Alright, now. So this is the... <coughs> so this is the first one. 
Um, it does have a serial number, which I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna clean the board. Uh, clean this, uh, yeah, because it's very dusty. So I'm gonna be cleaning this. But again, let's uh, take the stack off. How do we do this? I saw this. I saw this online. Actually, I got some reference. <sighs> One sec. Neatly do this. Oh, I see. What am I missing here? Ah, those screws? Are holding them in? Is that possible? It is. You see these? They're holding them in here. Interesting. Wait a minute. I didn't. I didn't know that. Now, yeah, I didn't see that. See these two screws? One here, the little one, and one there. It's preventing me from moving it. Oh, and there's another one, and then one here, and then another one. Well, that's interesting. I've never, I've never saw that. Okay. not really prepared I wasn't prepared for it I never saw it in the other videos all right I know that I usually have a better tool but I know this is gonna work but interesting I mean easy enough to come off but so I'm gonna just hold the screw in the back here and just take this off so there the screw just came off there Let's keep those together. Wow. First time I've seen that. Yeah, so that comes off. That makes sense. And there's a little washer as well. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's something new. Now, I don't want to drag this out. So what I'll do is uh, let me unscrew all four. Um, and then apparently, yeah, and then there's one here. Does that go in the middle? Yeah, that's right. So there's the screws as well. So there's these little ones. And then there's these that I do remember seeing. And then that just holds down, the, I guess, because it's maybe a bigger PCB. So I'm going to cut away and then uh, right when I'm taking the second uh, the stack off, and then we'll get to the, uh, the battery. Interesting. All right, step by step. Okay. So that took longer than I thought. Actually, there was two more screws. There was one here, and there was one somewhere else. So... That's the uh, official seal. <coughs> Get the camera later and I'll show you, but that's uh, that's great. Okay, so let's take this board off. Let's do it nice and carefully. Nice and carefully. Top board is, uh, it is dirty, definitely dirty. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So here's the back. There's the, uh... oh, look at that. Oh no, I'm, like, I'm thinking of, uh, that's really usually sticky, but either way. Um, let me move this aside. Just remember how, actually how it goes in a second here. So the one is... The one slot is to the left of where the dip switch... Okay. Alright. So... Board looks pretty clean, which is great. Which is great. Um, I'm looking at this for the first time. Just want to see everything. Maybe chips look good. I shouldn't screw with it if it works. Uh, it's good. All right. So let's address the uh, the elephant in the room here. It just makes you sure these legs. The legs are not going everywhere. So I'm going to tighten these up just to make sure 
nothing falls out. And I'm looking at the battery while I quickly do this. And um, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I definitely do. Beautiful. All right. Um, there's no leak. I'm very lucky. There is no leak at all. Good. Okay. So again, I am not, um, you know, part of me wants to replace it. The other part of me is like, it's not ready to be in the, in, in the quote basement or the, the real top tier, uh, vision and plan. Um, do I wait and do everything later on? I say yes, only because I don't know how long it's going to be here. It's not that I fear the solder. I've looked at videos. I've tested, like I've practiced soldering. Um, whether it's not the best or not, of course, no. But it's not leaked. I don't care about the high scores and all that. Really, it doesn't matter, um, especially now. So let's take a look at the back. The back looks good. Now, yeah, it's that adhe weird adhesive. So, it has that weird adhe adhesive in the back. Uh, it's actually just coming off very easily. I don't know why they put this here. I know that um, I've been looking at videos online. I'm not sure why I put it here. Now, what I will do, though, is I do want to shout out someone uh, very quickly. So, uh, let me just shout him out. Let me just make sure I get his right channel. So, uh, definitely... Uh, I've been following and subscribed to Rich at Retro Rich. That's his YouTube channel. Um, he's from the UK, as far as I know, and his Twitter handle is at Richard31337. Um, if you want to check him out, please do so. Subscribe to him. Hit up on his Twitter and mine as well if you're already there. Um, the reason I want to shout Rich out, and Rich, if you're watching, thank you, is I was a little concerned because there's two, I guess, schools of thought. The one was... If you replace it with another rechargeable battery like this, you're, you'd be fine. But what a lot of people have been doing, and I know Ty Laurie did it. You can uh, check out Ty Laurie's channel as well. Um, he's, uh, you know, at Ty Laurie YouTube. And then you can also, it's if you, know, you don't know the link, you can just check my subscriptions and he's there. Great YouTuber as well. His school of thought was putting in a button cell like a PC style. Now that one doesn't charge, and what I was concerned about before I started this, um, about a half hour ago, is apparently if you do the button cell version, that you have to get rid of one of these, I think resistors or transistors, I think these are resistors. You have to get, I think, rid of the, if I'm not mistaken, the 470, one of these ones. And I was concerned because if it's charging something and it's going to like burn it, that's a, that's a very bad news. Um, so that's what I said. I'm not going to do it. I'm very lucky. So I'm going to desolder this and I'm going to leave it for now. Again, Rich, thank you. And then even Ty, you know, Ty was, he has the other school of thought and I know they're kind of going back and forth to what's better, but I guess uh, to each his own. I don't know where I'm going to go with it. I'm thinking of doing another replacement if it's good for five years. Other part of me wants to do the button cell because I can just literally not even solder and I just put another one. I'm not sure yet, but again, we're not there. Let's get to the task at hand. Let's remove this battery again. Thanks again, Rich and uh, Ty as well. And let's uh, let's get right to it. Now, one thing we have to do is lift this. You know what? Oh, no, that's not. I was going to say, let me lift it with uh, a spatula or a screwdriver, but I do not want to lift any... Um, any leads or any... Oh, it's coming right off. Look at that. I'm lucky. Not too bad. Where's the battery? No, it's right there. You know what? It's right there. Um, I do not... Oh, you can even see where the battery is. Should I replace it? Like, I'm thinking, I'm like, am I an idiot? I'm right here. Why don't I just do it in... I don't know. It's literally right here, and I'll... Mine came off very easily. Look at that. I mean, I'll uh, I'll get the uh, alcohol <laughs> later, and I'll and maybe I'll just I don't know. Should I just cut this? I mean, it's not really doing anything. Or should I leave it and then the battery sits like that? Damn it! I don't know. Um, I'll leave it for now. So let's just get rid of that. 
So that's where the battery is. Yep. Like you can even see it. You can see the feet. I mean, this should be an easy, hopefully, uh, desolder. Now, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this. You know what? Let me just clean it up to here. When I do that. So I'll be back. Um, I'll be back. I'm going to uh, just clean it up to here to where the battery sits. And then we'll start to desolder for the first time, which would be interesting. So let me clean this. I'll be back. All right. So we're back. And you can see I've actually neatly cut this. It looks great. I take the alcohol. It looks very clean. Uh, great service to work with. There's a positive and negative lead right here for the uh, battery. Um, I have the solder sucker that I've never used before. So that should be interesting. I actually changed soldering irons because the other one is not getting hot enough. So I can already see this one smoking. So let's get to it. Let's add some solder to the tip, add it to that, and let's see if we can just pull that out and actually get this done. Oh, that's good, that's nice and hot. Okay, so we just added some more. Now let's try to get rid of it. Well, I did a great soldering job, but I heard it. Oh, damn it. Rookie. <laughs> well, something came out. For fuck's sakes. Very novice, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know what? I'm wondering if that's even necessary. And I got it. Alrighty, so just remove the battery. Um, it didn't go, it went okay, it went pretty smooth. It's harder, I find it, I'm not that good at soldering, so I find it harder, harder to desolder uh, than to solder. Um, but it went pretty good. I can show you there. So it went pretty well. I cleaned it with alcohol there. It looks all right. And then from the back, it looks pretty good. Um, took a little longer than I wanted to, but I'm just, uh, I don't have that skill yet, or maybe the tools aren't that good, but oh well. So here's what the old battery looks like. Uh, very common. Again, we'll come back to it in, you know, in the, you know, when we finish, finish the cab in the months or however long I get a house. So I'm gonna keep the battery just as a reference for the voltage and everything else. So I'm gonna leave that. Now, in the meantime, while we're here, we might as well start to uh, clean this up and put her back together finally. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna one, get the alcohol. Okay, I'm gonna just do right here. Wow, that's dirty. Damn. So just do here, nice and light. And the tips. And everything out. Everything looks pretty good. Doesn't show any um, like wear or anything, whatever I'm looking for. So that looks okay. So that's done. So what I've been reading online to clean, especially for Neo Geo, is an eraser. Um, it, it said a high school eraser. This is like high school. Yeah, like whatever. Okay, so, <laughs> so I guess I'll just come in here and just do this. If there's any, I guess, oxidization, it would help lift that. 
I think that's the reasoning. I don't know. If am I is, is this nonsense? I don't know. I've seen it online before though. Jesus, this is old. I don't know if this is doing but this is hard. This is a hard eraser. But it said the pink eraser, so I'm wondering if I should go in and get one on a pencil, because this one's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. Oh. All right, so we're back. I just wanted to get like a racer inside here. That works a lot better. Cause the other one was very, very stiff. Okay. All right, so that looks okay. Let's flip that. Let's start again. Actually, I want to just start like this. Okay. You know, I have to be honest, I'm not in the best of moods. It's freezing out here. So, what did I say at the beginning of the video? It was like 10? Celsius, which is 50 Fahrenheit, and it's like 8 now, and especially with the wind chill, it's, and then so it maybe be, I don't know, 45, I'm not sure the Celsius and the Fahrenheit, like exact conversion, but just to ballpark it, it's probably like 45, and it's upsetting, honestly, it's dismal, um, it's cold, I can't even, like it's hard to move my fingers, I'm not excited, so um, I apologize if I'm just a little quiet and just want to get this done, because it's upsetting like I thought we were good <laughs> and all of a sudden actually very north of Toronto well not very north but around 40 minutes um, where I've done some top tier tier uh, tours and all that they said they might even get snow um, yeah and I'm like forget that no way like in Toronto we won't but over like in I think Tuesday night or whenever night it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, they said it might snow, which is brutal. Anyways, so let's go back to, uh, let's go back to the, but yeah, very upsetting. But you know what? We got to do what we got to do. It's the way it is. I don't have a home inside that I can work on. It's just the garage. So I got to be grateful for that. All right. So that's done. So let's wipe this down nicely. So all the, that's good. You know, I see the dirt came off. They look very nice and shiny, which is beautiful. So that connector looks good. Now this is going to be the first time I'm going to use this. Um, again, so so far so good. Um, not perfect, but again, a lot of it's just not in the mood. I'm freezing, like my hands are killing me. I'm freezing here. Anyways, um, do I put, so a few things. So let's just get this. Get the pencils for a sec. So I bought contact cleaner um, and just the air dust. So I guess what I should do, should I put it on every everything that maybe connects? That's what I'm thinking. So why not? Again, it is cold though, I have to admit. Shoot. So let's just spray it here. Oh God, that's more than I thought. Okay. I'm not putting too much. Whew. It almost stinks almost like alcohol. Alright. So I'm going to let that evaporate a bit. I'm going to let that evaporate. Um, maybe wipe, wipe it down a little. Actually, I wonder if this is a good idea. To help dry. What do you think? Is this stupid? <laughs> Don't shake it. That was scary for a second.
I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm just kind of blowing out the, the excess and maybe pushing it through. Uh, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll uh, come back and we'll start to stack the other board. Alright everyone, so we're back. PCB looks great. Ready to be plugging that in. Damn, it's hard to work when it's so cold out here. Alright, so we're going to unplug the power supply. Perfect. Let's check its voltages. Come in. Okay, so let's fire it up. Okay. Alright, so we're looking for at least 5 volts here. Making sure the power supply works. So, ground and 5. Perfect. 5.14, again, because the 6 slot takes more and there's no game plugged in or PCB, um, I think that's perfect, plus we're going to put one game at a time. We have to raise it great, if not, so be it. So that looks to be good. So, so far, so good. Again, just being safe, just in case. I don't want to spike or anything like that. And unplug it. And then I replug in the... Look at these easy connects. Ugh, so easy. And again, I will be replacing it. I'm not sure when... But um, I will be replacing it sooner than later, I hope. So everything looks clean, everything looks good. Okay, so let's plug her in for the first time. Hopefully everything's good. And uh, yeah, we'll take her from there. All right, everyone. So clean the PCB, put it back, check the voltages. Um, I've closed the, I actually waited a bit. <coughs> I closed the garage and put the heater on. My mom said I, heat, I didn't even know we had a heater. I don't live here, but... Um, and they said, hey, why don't we put the heater on and let it go for a half hour. It's warmer. It's still a little cold, but warmer. I've closed the door. So why don't we fire up? I put a game in. Now, you already know I have this game, but this is going to be a full review later on. Um, I have Bust a Move. Hopefully, it's in slot one, and it turns on. That's good news. That's good news. Warming up. Winners don't use drugs. That's good. Yes, I think we got it. Okay. Is it good? It's good. I don't know, there's a little like scrambling on the right there. I don't know what that was. Maybe that's the monitor. I know the monitor has to be tapped, so I'm not surprised. Stereo sound sounds amazing. Whew, it sounds good. It works. I'm not gonna play, I'm just gonna I wanna see if I see that uh spin or if it was only just the one time. Damn it. Ah, I missed it! Stupid flare! Great. Okay, so great news. So that's now done. So far, so good. You can hear the power supply. The fan decided to just turn on. Um, so now I bought locks for the front door. So I'll set that up. So for the front door, I'll put in the locks and I'll show you that looks like in a few minutes. And we'll see where else this is going to take us for today. So why don't I just set up and I'll show you. Oh, damn it. I won't do the, I won't show you how to install the locks, I've done it in other videos. I'm just going to put them on and show you what they look like. So good news, so far so good. Just took some time and entered the uh, coin door uh, locks. So I, that's the first one. That's the second one. Those two holes right there I'm going to address, I could do them either machines. I'm going to actually put like a, a bolt, or I can't, like a, a thicker like bolt looking thing, so it blocks that. On the right I'll probably do... 
Maybe I'll do red later on, maybe on the left of the black, but not yet. Again, it's not in its final place. But they're the keys, so they look good. In the meantime, um, I was actually going to see if, now that I have you, if the coin mix take both American and Canadian quarters, if they actually work. So, um, I was able to find an American quarter. I always like to have both to work. Just because. Alright. Alright, so let's try it out. Hopefully they go down and everything, goes, and everything works well. So let's try Canadian in the left. That's good news. Canadian in the right. That's good news. Here's the American. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Let's try it. Now I only have one. So. Let's try the American on the left. Six. And now the American on the right. Beautiful. So they work. So let's just rifle off the... Let's rifle off these quarters. Awesome. All right, so both locks are on. Both co both coin max work. Um, the lights. Did I tell you guys I added the lights? I did. Yeah, I guess I didn't record it. Um, yesterday night when I went to go get materials, um, I actually got the lights, and the so I both go in coin lights work, which is great. So now it's pretty much just. Uh, what else is left? So let's actually, I'm going to take these keys out. Well, that makes no sense, because now we're going to put them. Ah, damn it. Right, I'll leave them out. <laughs> so I'll put these here. I'll put the other one here. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, All right, everyone. So it's a little later at night here. <clears throat> the sun's almost down. Um, coin light's working. You can see the... Uh, the slot, um, the credit coin working, and the screen, and you can faintly see the fourth slot of the uh, EL panel working. So again, one, one, four, five, one, four, five, six works. Very faint. Um, that's going to be coming, but that's good. That means that power is getting to it, so they're probably just worn out. So we'll see. And that's just uh, bust the move. So. Um, I don't know. You know what? I think for the restore, I'm pretty sure we're good. You can see the lines on the right there on the screen. Um, again, it needs capping, but again, it's in the works. Um, this is good news. So again, I know that we have a list to do. I think for right now, the restore is really done. There's not really much more to do. Um, if I do end up swapping the power supply earlier than later, then I'll quickly record it. Or I'll just put it in or I'll show you or whatever. Uh, it's literally plug and play with the same cords. So... You know what, I think uh, for now the restore is good. I think maybe I'll start to review the actual cabinet and uh, take it from there. Alrighty guys, so, so far so good. If you guys, um, again, want to subscribe, hit me up. Uh, give me feedback, comments, good or bad, let me know. I want to learn. Um, I've been doing this restore went very smoothly. Again, it was very light, I have to admit. But the PCB works. I've been testing... The five out of the six games I have for the six slot, I don't want to reveal them yet, other than, you know, I bust a move. Um, so, again, subscribe, hit me up, let me know, give me your feedback, email me, whatever you want to do. Hit me up on Twitter and everything else. All the best, and thanks for choosing Top Tier. Peace. Peace.